dove into, dived, dove. Dove. Dove in? No. <laughs> hey everyone, welcome to today's video. Today we are going to be talking about my favorite concealers right now. So lately I feel like I have been really diving into concealers and figuring out which formulations I like and for when, and so now I feel like I am finally ready to come to you with all of my favorite concealers. So let's go ahead and get started. The first one that we are going to be talking about today is the Dior Forever Skin Correct Concealer, and I have this in the shade 3N. This is actually what I'm wearing today. It is a little bit dark for me in terms of if I wanted to brighten my under eyes, but in terms of like just matching my skin perfectly, this is a great, great concealer. So I'll go ahead and swatch it on my hand. First of all, it has very, very luxe packaging, which you would expect from Dior, mostly just because like it's expensive. But you can see that it has a really, really large doe foot applicator, so it's really easy to kind of just use one of these concealers as like your all over coverage kind of a product. And so I really, really like this. Now the main thing that I like about this concealer is that it lays well on top of foundation and it looks beautiful on its own. So again, I'm not wearing anything on my face other than concealer right now. And you can just see it has a really, really luminous quality to it. So as I move my hand around, you can kind of just see how it reflects the light. So if you feel like your skin is looking very dull in the winter or you're feeling like everything just looks very sallow, this is a great concealer for you to check out. Now, I know it's kind of on the pricey side, so a good um, drugstore option would be the Neutrogena, and this is the Radiant Cream Concealer Healthy Skin, has peptides and antioxidants, and I have this in the shade Hazelnut Medium 1. This is also a beautiful concealer. Actually, I would say this is a newer find for me, to be honest. I was walking around CVS, and I was like, do I want to try something? And my eyes fell on this, plus there was like a sale going on. Nothing gets me like a good sale. But I was like, you know what? I haven't tried Neutrogena in a long time. Let me give it a shot. So I really like this concealer as well. You can actually see compared to the Dior, it is slightly lighter, a little bit of a different undertone. So it's not neutral. It's a little bit more of that warm color, but you can just see how the formulations are very, very similar. So if you're looking for something that is more on the drugstore range, I would definitely recommend checking out uh, Neutrogena. I feel like no one talks about this brand really anymore, but I'm here for it, you guys. Neutrogena has some good stuff. Moving on to the next concealer. This is the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Concealer, and I have this in the shade 5.75. This is an amazing concealer on top of foundation. It will blend in seamlessly. It'll look just enhancing all of the different coverage that you already have on your face. It's beautiful, it wears well throughout the day, it lasts all day. This one I would say definitely does need to be set with like a light layer of powder, but again, it is very beautiful and finished. You can see it's actually a tiny bit thinner in consistency compared to the Dior Forever and also the, um, the Neutrogena. So I would say this one is more of a medium coverage concealer, but it definitely can be built up if that's what you need. So I really like this concealer for when I am currently already wearing foundation. These are the concealers that I tend to reach for if I don't have foundation on, mostly just because, again, with a little bit thicker of a consistency, I do feel like it gives me a little bit more coverage without having to add like extra layers, if that makes sense. Now, another product that hurts my soul to talk about, mostly just because it's like, it's Tom Ford, so it's very expensive. So just, I'm gonna throw a price warning out there that this is absurd. So this is the shade in Illuminate Concealer. This is in the shade 2W1 Taupe. All right, let me just say the packaging on this is very luxe, it's very beautiful, it's very Tom Ford. But what I like about this product is I actually like to wear this one on its own as well. This is one that like, it does fine over foundation, but it has this gorgeous, luminosity to it that is beautiful when you wear this concealer on its own. I do feel like the product is a little bit thicker as well. It's not the same formula as all of these other concealers in that it is really, really thick. And hopefully you can see that in the camera. If I actually just smooth it out like this, you can see A, how much coverage it has, 
but the feeling of it is a little bit more mousse-like. And so if you are someone that likes to play with different textures when it comes to your face products, this is one I would recommend checking out, mostly just because I do think that it provides a different experience. This is one that I will wear when I am flying. Anytime I'm going to the airport and I know I need my concealer to last all day long, not give me any issues, but also make it look like my skin is healthy. Most, let's be honest, right? Like when you're on a plane, like that just sucks all of the moisture out of your skin. This is what I like to wear on the plane because I do think that A, it has some skincare ingredients in it. So it's keeping my skin hydrated and plump while I'm on the plane. But then also the longevity of the product on its own without foundation on is great as well. So pricey, yes, but I like it. It's kind of a problem. Let's bring it back to a product that is not pricey and doesn't make me wanna throw up at the price. This is the Maybelline Age Rewind or Instant Age Rewind Eraser and this is a multi-use concealer. I have this in the shade 122 Sand or Sable. Why are there two names on this? There's two shade names, I don't know. Maybe it's Sand Sable. I'll go look that up after this video. By the way, I do include descriptions of every single product that I talk about in my videos. I always put the price point in the description. So if you missed something that I'm saying, you can always go to the description box and check and see what I talked about there. This is an oldie but a goodie concealer. As you can probably tell by how much of this I have used, I actually need to repurchase a new one. If you are looking for a multi-use concealer that is very thin and textured, not gonna dry out your skin, great for under eye. This is what I would recommend from the drugstore as well. This one is not going to be as full coverage as the Neutrogena concealer, but it is a beautiful all over concealer. If you are very dry, this is a phenomenal concealer to use. It will not crease on you. It'll look beautiful throughout the day. Um, the only thing with this one I would say is the longevity of the Maybelline is just not as strong as the Neutrogena, but I'm also kind of like, if it's not as full coverage as the Neutrogena concealer, I'm not sure I can fault it on being less in terms of longevity. The final two concealers that I wanted to talk about for today are very, very specific in their usage. So these are products that I would not say I put all over the face. These are ones that I use for, again, a very specific reason. So the first one is the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer. I have this in the shade Medium One Custard. I have this concealer in three different shades because it is such a staple in my vanity. Anytime I have breakouts or intense discoloration or I have weird texture that's going on on my skin that no other concealer will actually cover and then stay there, I reach for this guy. This is literally the fullest coverage concealer that will not break apart on your skin. So the best way to use this product, especially if you're doing like you know, concealing like a pimple or something like that is take your finger, dip it into the pot, and then literally just press it into your skin and just keep pressing it in to get it to kind of dissipate into your skin and blend in. Now, the best part about this product is like with all of the other concealers, when you try to cover up a pimple, it tends to like break apart on that pimple, right? Like I get really bad whiteheads. And so what I end up having is just like, the concealer will cover on top of it, but then somehow you'll see like a spot where it missed it and it just looks really weird. I do not have that problem with this product. It is literally a lifesaver if you've got that zit that you have to cover. This is, this is what's going to save your life, not to mention, it also lasts for a really, really, really long time. Okay, let's talk about the product that has been helping me through the aging process. I tell you, literally five years ago, this is not a concealer that I would be caught dead purchasing or trying out or now advocating. So my skin has really just kind of changed. You can see that I have this really, really big crevice that's literally sitting on my under eye. It is one of those areas that it's just, it is here to stay. There's nothing I think I can really do about it unless I decide to get like Botox, but that like kind of freaks me out because it's my eye and I just, that's not something that I wanna do. So that's when I turn to the Tarte Creaseless Concealer and I have this in the shade 25 Neutral. So this is a light medium neutral. This is very brightening, by the way, just to be clear. I tend to mix this with one of my darker concealers because the shade match is like wrong. If your skin is very, very dark underneath your eyes, 
this is the concealer that I would recommend. First of all, the coverage on this concealer is banging. Like it doesn't even make sense how much coverage this concealer has. You don't need that much. So then it, it kind of works really well because when you have really dark under eye circles, you tend to be like, oh my God, I have to pile on the concealer, right? Like I have to cover all of that up. But with this product, you don't need that many layers of it. And then of course, right, it has the phenomenal coverage. And then the best part about it is it does not crease literally does not crease throughout the day or it minimizes creasing. Like for those of you that also have crevices underneath your eyes, sometimes you just can't get away with like under eye creasing, but this one really, really, really does minimize it. Now, if you tend to be a little bit more on the oily side, this is a concealer that I would recommend like you should probably set it down with some uh, powder. I would recommend the ColourPop uh, Pretty Fresh Powder or the CoverGirl Advanced Radiance Powder. Both of those are great under eye powders to use. This has been a product that has been around for a really, really long time. It actually used to be in a tube format, which was like a complete disaster because that product would literally like, it would just get everywhere because it's really thick in consistency and it was just difficult to apply. So when they moved over to a doe foot applicator, first of all, I gave it a very wide berth for a while because I was like, that is not a product that I need. And then as I started aging, particularly this year, I was like, Meh, maybe I'll give it a shot. And then I fell in love with it. So things change, people. Things change. And now I am a huge fan of the Tarte Creaseless Concealer. This is definitely a product that I will continue to purchase for my under eyes on those days when I'm like, that's a that's a freaking hole right here and I need to cover it, this is what I reach for. So that pretty much wraps up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this speed round of all of my top concealers that I really enjoy using. Hopefully you will be able to find something that falls into the price range that you are looking for. I wanted to make sure that I had everything from drugstore to high end to luxury. So uh, hopefully I got all the bases covered. But yeah, if you guys have any concealers, by the way, that you are interested in having me test out or you have your own list of favorite concealers, please leave a comment in this video because I would love to find out about them. Now that I'm on this path of like not really wearing too much foundation, although I still have a bunch that I wanna try, <laughs> always looking for more concealer recommendations. So hit me up, comment down below. If you like this video, please feel free to like it, subscribe to our channel, and I will see you guys next week. Thank you so much for watching, bye.